everybody, this is Sarah from the Living Desert. You might notice I'm not on grounds this evening. I'm actually out here in Palm Canyon Wash, and I'm out here for a very important reason. We have a very cool little beetle that lives in our valley, and it lives only in our valley. In fact, only in Palm Springs. It's found nowhere else in the world, and that's the Casey's June beetle. Now, a species that we don't find anywhere else in the world is called an endemic species. And it turns out that a lot of endemic species are actually facing extinction, as is the Casey's June beetle. It is a highly endangered species. And the Living Desert comes out and helps U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to survey for this species and get a population count each year to try and figure out what's going on. So here we have the beetle trap, and this is what's called a black light trap. You'll see that I have a white sheet down there tacked down on the wash floor with some rocks. We've got a bucket in the middle, and then we actually have a black light hanging above. And I actually just saw a little creature come flying by, so we had one of our first visitors probably. Whether that was a Casey's June beetle or not, I only saw it at the corner of my eye, so tough to tell. But I will be seeing more later this evening as the evening wears on. Now, beetles and other insects are attracted to the light. They actually navigate their nocturnal habitat, often by navigating via the moon. So the light disorients them just enough that they want to come over and check it out, and they'll come to my trap. Now, once they land in the trap, each beetle will be captured and marked with a unique labeling system that tells us what trap that beetle flew to, and then they're released to go about their business. With any luck, they'll fly to back to the same trap they were at, or maybe even better, to another trap, and that tells us how far they've been traveling in the evening. So a lot of people ask me when I'm out here, well, what's the big deal with the beetle? Why should we care? And what happens if it goes away? The Casey's June beetle is actually a really important food source for a lot of species out in this wash. We see all kinds of birds that come out specifically to feed on the beetle. And also we're finding out that reptiles do as well, like some of the lizards out here. Now, in addition to it being an important food source, beetles actually perform a really key ecosystem function that we really rely on immensely, and that is decomposition. They take nature's trash, all the things that fall down onto the wash floor, and they break it down into nutrients that plants can take up through their root systems. It makes for a nice, healthy, stable ecosystem, which is, of course, what we want. If we lose the beetles, we're going to lose some of that nutrient cycling, and that's going to make it tougher for the plants and therefore tough for all species, including humans. So while you may not see a lot of value in that species, there's often a lot of jobs that we don't even know that we rely on for every single species that is facing extinction, and that's why it's really important to help them. Now you might think, well, how can I help possibly save a beetle? Well, you might not be able to come out and run a survey with me, but you can visit places like the Living Desert that do really key, important, conservation work, especially in your backyard. So by supporting the Living Desert, you're supporting a lot of the conservation that we do here locally in the Coachella Valley to bring back a lot of desert native species. And for that, we thank you and we hope that you will continue to support us. As far as I go, I've got some data to collect and the beetles are going to start flying soon, so I better get going. But I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.